Now, at the beginning of the year, America Online started offering unlimited access to the Internet for a flat fee of $19.95 a month. But ever since then, it's had trouble handling the increased load on Internet users. And so now, a class action lawsuit has been brought against the company claiming negligence and consumer fraud. So how can you log in and avoid this traffic jam? The Money Club's Bruce Francis takes a look at the different online options available. In Hollywood, internet intrigue is easy to find. It's a virus eating through the cake people program. But at home, figuring out step one is often the challenge. So what do you need to get into the net? Look for a, a home multimedia system or an office multimedia system, a good modem, look for the numbers 33 and up and then you might want to start with something just like AOL. AOL or America Online is a popular commercial online service. So is CompuServe, the Microsoft Network and Prodigy. Programs like these are often recommended to help you get started because they offer user-friendly menus that come with everything you need to surf the net effectively and get you where you want to go in cyberspace. Which program you choose depends a lot on your reason for being online. CompuServe is very well known for its uh, business tools, its reference materials. On the other hand, America Online is much more well known for its chat rooms and for its social uh, programs. The most popular commercial online programs distribute free trial disks in most computer magazines. The software also comes bundled with most new computers. If it's just the internet you want and you already know how to get around cyberspace, you can go directly to the net without going through an online service by using an internet access provider like Netcom, IDT, or Earthlink. All of these are direct internet access companies where you can obtain an account, you dial into them, but instead of being into a service where you have a standard interface view or look like you would with AOL or CompuServe or Prodigy, you have the ability to go anywhere you want without being encumbered by going through the service. The cost is about the same for both types of internet access. Many of the popular online services now offer the same flat rates as the direct access providers, about $20 a month. The online services may offer ease of use and plenty of folks to chat with, but they also have plenty of traffic. Wary consumers need to make sure their online service is keeping up with demand. Some America Online customers recently sued that company, claiming they aren't getting what they're paying for because they can't log on. AOL has a limited amount of, of bandwidth for people and basically a limited amount of service. AOL's usage or number of users has jumped over a million in less than three months. There's no way they can have enough server servers ready for people to get online. For the Money Club, I'm Bruce Francis.